One of the major obstacles to making quality videos with a smartphone is the lack of availability of equipment to do so with. The rig described in this video targets the problem present in trying to record yourself writing on a sheet of paper, a bird's eye view, while still allowing you to change the angle for torso or headshots. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to construct a smartphone rig that fulfills these four goals. Number one is full availability of the touchscreen. This is necessary for smartphone recording because many of the features are only available through the touchscreen. Number two is omnidirectional positioning. You need to be able to angle the arm wherever you want so that you can have complete control over your shots. Number three is made from easily acquired materials. This is necessary so that this can be recreated anywhere. And number four, can be built and operated by anyone. This is necessary so that people who are not experts can still create video with their smartphone. Here is a list of the necessary materials to create the arm and smartphone holder of our rig. There are a couple of ways to do this, but this particular way is pretty simple and doesn't care where your camera is. Here is a diagram of our initial model. To build this, we cut a piece of PVC in half lengthwise. If you don't care about the quality of your edges, you can use a hacksaw or a coping saw to do this. If you decide to use a saw, I recommend angling your blade 30 degrees so that you can cut straight down and not have to worry about hitting the back of your saw. Another problem in dealing with PVC is that it can be hard to drill through on the first tie. I pre-drilled holes with a soldering iron, like so, to make it easier to drill. You need to make four holes in one half and two in the other. The two in the middle are spaced so that you can connect them to an L joint like this. This is the arm of your smartphone rig. Here's a diagram of the layout of our smartphone holder. We decided to use screws and these fancy little things called coupler nuts, pictured here. This route let us avoid having to cut through any metal with a hacksaw while still getting the right size for our smartphone holder. To connect the holder to the L joint that we mentioned earlier, we just put some screws and bolts through the two middle holes. We used quarter inch screws so that they would be the same as camera tripod screws since people might want to just attach this holder to their very own tripod. We then cut strips of foam like this that are sticky on one side so that they could be attached to the PVC so that we wouldn't scratch our phone. Once you've assembled this, you have the holder that will secure your phone. Here is a diagram of the bracket arm that we created to hold our smartphone. I have one here. You can see that it provides you the full range of motion necessary to record top down or torso or headshots. Here I have the layout of how we connected the different L joints together. You'll notice that we put a neoprene washer anywhere there would be metal on metal contact. This reduces friction and makes it easier for our arm to operate. After you've completed your smartphone holder and bracket arm, you need to make a stand if you don't already have one. We filled a bowl 
with concrete and put a piece of PVC in it. This is an extremely cheap way to create a base for a tripod stand. We then got a PVC connector right here so that we could connect our base to the pole so that the tall part of our smartphone rig would not be permanently attached to a heavy weight. We then, using the soldering iron and a drill, took a five foot hole and made holes every two inches. You'll see that these align with our, with our L bracket so that our arm can be placed at any position on the pole. Now, you're done. I'll go back to the initial photo that we started with. And you can see here you have the bracket arm. Here's the smartphone holder. Here's the PVC that we drilled. And there's the concrete base. If you've done all this, you should have a working smartphone rig. And you should be able to create a video just like this one. Now, as the people at YouTube say, go out and create something.